Hiya, my name is Pete and I'm going to show you how to play London by Ben Howard. Now you might have noticed that recently I have been looking at some of his older songs. I did a cover of The Fire and a tutorial of The Fire recently and before that I did a cover of London so this is me catching up with myself doing the tutorial for this song. Um, there's quite a lot of um, different structures used within uh, London. There's a lot of different picking patterns and um, left hand shapes and, and all sorts of stuff like that so I'm going to have to go fairly briskly with this to fit it all within a reasonably sized tutorial so let's get cracking straight away shall we if you take the capo off the tuning is C G C G G again and D so it's a bit like the tuning for Old Pine but the last note is a D and then I think when Ben plays this he puts his cap on possibly on the third fret I'm going to do it on the second fret it just makes the uh, singing along bit a bit less painful so I don't wreck my voice <clears throat> like that ship hasn't sailed um, right so when you get the capo back on the, the tuning will show on a tuner as D A D A again A again and then that last string is an E. Right. So the introduction to this is relatively slow and, and played in what I would refer to as free time. And it's all on the fourth and fifth strings. Okay. So index finger, fourth string, second fret. Pluck fourth and fifth together. Oh, how I wish I could. So all I'm doing there is hammering from the second fret to the fourth, fifth and then pulling off again to the second. So, two, four, five, five, four, two on the fourth string. Oh, I wish I could. And then cover both strings on the second fret with your index finger. Drag you down. So hammer to the fourth and then pluck it again. Drag you down. Then little finger reach. Here, little finger off both fingers off and then both together hammer onto the second on the fourth string and pluck on the fourth fret fifth string so those first four bars oh, how I wish I could drag you down here. and then the, the fifth bar same start as the first, pull, hammer two, four, five, pull these, and then up to the seventh fret, feed, so pluck five and four, feed, fourth fret on the fourth string, oh, far back into the seventh, far, then four, two, from the, you can do that as a pull off, feed, oh, far from the, Ground, and there you're going to cover the 4th and 5th string, 2nd fret Ground, hammer 2 to 4 Ground And then the same sort of descent as the 3rd bar Little finger So into the ninth bar, rather than plucking both together I'm separating them as plucking 5th and 4th Cause this, this city ain't no friend of mine It's the same as the first and second bars as that And this is the same as the third And then you're into the faster picking section as we start to enter the verse And this is middle finger, fifth string, fifth fret And I'm plucking one at uh, six five four six five four six five six five four six five four six five. This is very similar, in fact, it's exactly the same as the start of the cover of Dancing in the Dark by Bruce Springsteen that Ben did. So you've got um, a number of bars, like a four bar introduction in that shape. All I can do 
Mm. And then you're going to move to what I call the 7-4 position. So index finger, 5th string, 4th fret, little finger, 6th string, 7th fret, and again, same right hand pattern. And uh, so there's two bars in that shape. Then you're going to move to what I call the 9-7 shape. So 9th fret, 6th string, 7th fret, 5th string, same right hand pattern. Just as you do two bars of that, you release your index finger at the end of that second bar in that pattern. This is bars 21, 22. And when the tracks stop at the final destin. And then here you're dropping down to the 5 2 position. So you put your index finger on the second fret, fifth string, and your little finger on the fifth fret, sixth string. Again, thumb one, two, thumb one, two, thumb one, thumb one, two, thumb one, two, thumb one. String six, five, four, six, five, four, six, five, six, five, four, six, five, four, six, five. And then that uh, that cycle repeats for the next line of the of the verse. It's just push on through seven four, Ooh. and weariness and silences of such a. It's in nine seven and down to five two. Such a crowded extra bar at five two. Situation all I can. And that's into the pick and go section. The, the left hand shapes are identical to what you were, you were using for that thumb one two break up there. So the left hand is going to do exactly the same shapes. So let's concentrate on the right hand, what's happening here. I'm playing six, five, strum, aim for the middle strings, try not to clip the highest string because you're going to pluck it after another bass note. So six, five, strum in the middle, six, one, two, strum in the middle, six. And that's the pattern for each bar. Now because these second and third strings are tuned identically, you could do six, five, strum, six, one, three, strum. And you'll still get the same, the same sound. So what I'm doing then is this. All I can do Up to 9-7 When every brick, every bar, every elegance I see 5-2 I see her face push on Just push on through Then 9-7 Oh, hang on, no, 7-4 is just push on, just push on, 7-4 through, up to 9-7, the embers and memories that float, set 5-2, that float from the fire, from the fire of this place, and you go around that again an instrumental little joining section to this next bit. Oh, don't give up on me now. Right, now that bit's our, our next sort of new shape, so let's focus on that. So bar 52 then, last, uh, this is a bar of pick and go still, so I'm playing six, five, strum, six, one, two, strum, and then to 53, pivot your little finger around and drop it on the Second string, fifth fret, and I'm playing five, four, and three, two together, slap, and then put your ring finger on the fourth fret, second string, and play five, four, three, and two together, slap, ring finger up to the fifth fret, and put your index finger also on the fifth fret, fifth string, pluck five, four, two, and three together, slap, and then there's a passing note, it's an open fourth string and then move your index finger to the sixth string fifth fret bring your middle finger to the fourth string fifth fret so basically it's five open five open five open and then I'm into um, a right hand picking pattern similar to what you might find in gracious or in promise and it's six four three six two 
six, four, two, it's bar 55, so, okay, again, it's bar 55, six, four, three, six, two, six, four, two, and then in bar 56 is six, four, three, six, two, three, and then take, uh, yeah, it's strong, that's it, and then we're moving up to the ninth fret above kappa, which is just below your octave marker, and again, same left hand configuration, 9 naught, 9 naught, 9 naught. Right hand's the same as bar 55. 6, 4, 3, 6, 2, 6, 4, 2. Then slide up to the 12th fret. 12 naught, 12 naught, 12 naught. And again, 6, 4, 3, 6, 2, 6, strum. And then drop back down to the 5th fret. 6, 4, 3, 6, 2, 6, 4. Four, two, six, four, three, six, three, two, three, and then strum, but take your index finger off because it's about to stretch over and hold down the the second fret on the fifth string as we go into bar 61. Alright, so let's just take it from bar 52 then. Coming out of the pick and go then. into the uh, oh it's just concrete and cars it's just sirens and missing stars it's just whiskey and disregard and um, this is similar to the the joining section that we sort of did uh, from bar 53 slight variation though I'm using my index finger on the second fret fifth string but I've I keep my ring finger in that position there and I found it easiest just to pivot my hand over and and uh, this is from bar uh, 61 so I play six, three and two together, slap, move down to your ring finger just on the fourth fret, second string, open fifth, open fourth, two and three together, slap, fifth fret on strings two and five, pluck five, four, two and three together, and then um, you move into that five, open five, open five, open shape. Um, so pluck six, four, three and two, and then go round again. So second fret, fifth string, keep that ring finger where it is there. Five, four, three and two, that's bar 63. Um, and then down to the fourth fret. Back up to the fifth fret, strings five and two. And then that five, open, five, open, five, open shape again. Back to the second fret. So you, I would practice just going round in that loop. Oh, it's just concrete and cars. Oh, it's just sirens and missing stars oh it's just whiskey and and again there's a bar of two four there with a passing note just as you come out of whiskey and disregard whis um uh, where are we um oh it's just whiskey there and disregard and we're back into that six five four six uh, sorry six four three six two six four two picking shape again Oh, it's just concrete and cars Oh, it's just sirens and missing stars Oh, it's just whiskey and disregard In the smallest hours here So I'm just doing that 6436264 shape through that 5 open, 5 open, 5 open position for two bars with a shift down to the uh, same left hand shape on the 4th fret and then back to the 5th fret. So, and disregard in the smallest 
Breakfast hours here. Six four three six two six four two six four three six two six four three. Um, into bar seventy four, where you've held that sustained pluck of the second string on the fifth fret. When I feel alone. So there's an open strum on the towards the bottom four strings. And then it's the same right hand pick and go shape that you were using earlier on, but this time the left hand shapes are much easier. Basically, work your index finger from the fifth fret on the fifth string to the seventh fret on the fifth string to the ninth fret on the fifth string, and then there is briefly to the tenth fret. Use your ring finger because you're going to do a pluck, hammer on, pull off, pull to open. So it's a bit like this. So this is bar 75 then, on the 5th fret first of all, 6, 5, strum, 6, 1, 2, strum, and then to the 7th fret, 6, 5, strum, 6, 1, 2, strum, 6 up to the 9th fret, up to the 10th fret use your ring finger, 9, 10, 9 open, strum, and then Drop on, 5 open, 5 open, 5 open, so practice being able to do that, just dropping those three fingers onto there. And now I'm doing the pick and go shape, but doing 6, 4, strum, 6, 2, 3, strum, that's bar 79, 6, 4, strum, 6, 2, 3, strum, and then again, same left hand shape, but for bar 80, this time, it's very similar, 6, 4, strum, 6, 1, 2, strum. So let's just play that a little bit more fluidly from 75. And if you can, just try and dampen that fifth string with your index finger so you, you never really quite catch it. You don't, I don't think it sounds that great in the chord shape, so I just dampen it a little bit. Um, and then from there you're back into the the verse shape, so it's back to the 5, then the 7, 4, then the 9, 7, then the 5, 2. Um, All I can do when these lights they haunt me like orchids in a graveyard It's just push on and then that goes round and then again it's, it's just it's just the same shapes all the way through um, right the way through the um, oh don't give up on me now and then again you've got the um, whiskey in disregard and then in the smallest hours here same it's the same shape with the verse and the chorus and again you'll come through that when I feel alone and then there's a, there's a little bit where Ben sings about and I hope Paris is as, as beautiful as I've been told and that's that's sung over the same uh, shapes used from bar 75 so and I hope Paris is as beautiful To the the outro section this is bar 81 onwards I would have time 20 minutes okay so this is bar 81 onwards and again it's that same sort of pick and go shape but this time the focus is mainly on the that first string so um, it's, it's like this So what you're trying to pick out really is on that high string you can hear. That 
that's sort of that's the main sort of melody, if you like, within that uh, picked section. So from bar eight to one, then put your ring finger on the first string, fifth fret, and I'm playing six, two, and one together, and pull off as you do the strum. Six, pluck the first string on the second fret, index finger, then the third string, strum, and then the sixth string again. All right, so. To the 82nd bar, and this is very similar to the first bar, except when you do the second strum in the 82nd bar, I take my index finger off so that first string's open. So let's do those first two, bar, first two bars of the outro again. So this is bar 81, bar 82, and then bar 83 is the uh, same as the first bar, the 81st bar. And then to the third fret, and I'm plucking um, three at uh, first string, third string, strum, sixth string, and then pluck the first string, but pull to open, strum, and then the sixth string to finish. So bars 81 to 84 then are like this. And then for the next four bars, what's happening at the at the high pitched end is the same, but I'm holding down the fifth fret on the sixth string there, which means I'm going to have to use my little finger whenever I incorporate the fifth fret on the first string. So there's a little bit of playing either side of your finger going on here. So pluck the sixth string, held at the fifth, one and two together, pull them off the strum. Six, first string on the second fret, open third, strum, six string again twice into bar 86, five and open on the strum, six, second fret, third string open, release before the strum in bar 86, and then again the bass note at the start of 87, five open, second string open third, uh, sorry, first string on the second fret, open third, strum, and um, into bar bar 88. This is the uh, the first repeat for the outro. Um, so you're going to move your index finger to the third fret in this one. So let's go through the outro all the way through. Fret. And then it goes round again. So that second time repeat ending. You're basically held on the 5th fret on the 6th string. Just coming into bar 89 then, um, you've got 1st string on 3, 3rd string open, strum, 6th string, and then 2, 2 open on the 1st string. Strum down, strum up, and then 6, 5, 4 open. Now, when I'm doing the pick and go section on on that, and I suspect when Ben plays it as well, there is um, there's there's room for uh, a little bit of variation in terms of, like I said, plucking strings two and three. And similarly, when you're doing those sort of break up sections, again, don't be afraid to experiment with trying some some doubled notes and and reach over for that first string as well.
mix it up a bit for variation. Basically, you're still looking for the with the thumb underneath, so as long as you've got that. As long as you've got that bass sound underneath then what goes on top can be very quite a bit and to quite good effect it, it stops it sounding too repetitive right so uh, trying to keep this tutorial to a reasonable length um, I know I've gone pretty quick through most of that but there's a lot of familiar shapes that you should have seen in previous tutorials hopefully if you've been keeping up with my channel you will pick it up relatively quickly and as usual, if you like what you've seen, hit the like button. Please click subscribe if you haven't already done so. Lots of stuff still to, to come your way. And the next thing, next thing I'm going to look at is another call to wall song called Saskatchewan in 1881. I, I've even bought a new hat just for the song. So I look forward to that. Right. Um, okay. Put some practice in. I will see you next time. Cheers.